friends, yes, welcome to another episode of Nintendo Nightcap, bringing you more Nintendo news. How's it going? Two stories for you today, rather short video, but we're going to get into it nonetheless, because first story, Pikmin enter the AR world via a new phone game. We're going to get into that. And secondly, two new leakers give us more evidence pointing towards Nintendo indeed entering the world of VR. And they give us some little information of what form that might take. So we're going to get into both of those stories. But before we do, if you like the video, you like the content, you want to help us out, hit that like, subscribe and that bell. And then, like a good friend, pull up a chair and sit with us as we delve into today's first story. Which is, of course, yes, those cute little Pikmin not content with ripping up the charts around the world with Pikmin 4 becoming the highest selling Pikmin game in the process. They have now released their very own phone phone-based AR game rather in the same vein as those pesky little Pokemon this time it will be those cute little Pikmin though that invade our surroundings and I of course did try it very fun very cute and just like Pokemon Go it does uses the camera on your phone as you walk around your surroundings looking for these cute little creatures I took some footage earlier I played it around the house and first of all you know you see some red Pikmin that need to be sprouted it's just a simple swipe on the screen and voila a Pikmin will appear and you look for a few more and then off they go looking for treasure you follow them and then duly they will turn around and bring back your treasure which you can view in the menu uh, during the course of the short time I played I did uncover various different Pikmin and it was quite fun I look forward to taking it out with me on the go and see what other Pikmin I find what other treasures I find um, so a funny little delight for Nintendo to release with us as I said Pikmin 4 has been killing it at the moment becoming the highest selling game in the franchise so it's really awesome to see Nintendo you know just branching out its IP like this very fun indeed but let me know what do you think will you be installing it yourself will you be looking for Pikmin around your surroundings let me know in the chat now then next up more Nintendo Switch 2 rumors have surfaced this time in the form of its rumored VR device this comes courtesy of Twitter leaker Nash Weedle. If you know the name, he is the Spanish leaker who leaked the existence of Metroid Dread a year before its existence. And this time now, he set Twitter alight by claiming a few very interesting things. He claims that Nintendo is indeed working on a VR headset, which is a separate device from its console. It, he calls it a mixed reality device, meaning it will also be able to connect to other devices, say a mobile phone. He says also that it's going to be using something called the micro LED um, screens, which is something that was patented by an offshoot of Google a while ago. And he says that Nintendo has a prototype and that it's testing it currently. So very interesting news. He also shared a fan made mock up of what it could look like, which looks really snazzy, I might say. And adding further fuel to these rumors is a post put on Reddit a while ago by Follow Me in Blue, which does indeed show various patterns worked on by Nintendo that does indeed show a VR headset being used and connected with other devices, in this case, a mobile phone. The example used here is one that the player with the headset device would be playing chess and the board being displayed in its surroundings and someone could join in via a mobile phone with a signal sent by their VR headset and then they would be able to see the chessboard through their phone and interact with them. So this is amazing. This would be incredible. I don't know if it's been done before, but I love it if it would be true. I love when Nintendo goes crazy and does insane things like this. This looks like it would be insanely fun. Um, these are, you know, real patterns that Nintendo has, you know, uh, put out themselves. So, you know, we know that they have at least looked at it. But is it real? Let me know in the chat what you think. I love it when Nintendo goes full crazy like this. It is patented, so we know that at least they have looked at this possibility but let me know in the chat what you think and that is the video for today i hope you've enjoyed it two pretty awesome stories i will be back yet again of course with more nintendo news tomorrow but until then my friends have an awesome one bye